Sagittarius. You need to know this right now for July the 26th through July the 27th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for July the 26th through July the 27th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for July the 26th through July the 27th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for July the 26th through July the 27th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Sagittarius. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So sad, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Sag, now there could have been a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument over some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here. Or someone's, someone was being deceptive, lying, cheating, and sneaking around and being sneaky, out being a player, getting cookies somewhere with someone. Sag, you have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Sag, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the Ten of Cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the Ten of Cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So, Sag, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles 
for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So listen, you very well could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. Clarify the Hermit for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was some confusion. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. So, Sag, listen, my question is, is someone wanting to jump high now, speaking on commitment after some type of deception? I feel like you're thinking long and hard, doing some heavy duty soul searching concerning this deception that took place here on whether or not you want to accept this proposal or this apology. Or said, you're saying, you know what? I don't know. I need to make a choice on whether or not I'm going to accept this proposal or an apology. But it just seems like someone is uh, jumping high here because there was some type of lies or illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options out being a player. But someone is wanting to come and either salvage you guys' commitment or wanting to go into some type of commitment. Sad, you have the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Sag, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords. For Sagittarius, clarify the King of Swords. For Sagittarius, clarify the King of Swords. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. So, Sag, listen, I feel like, yes, you guys are having this communication because someone's apologizing here. But as the king of swords, I feel like you're needing to make a decision here. You could also tell me that you're also needing to make a decision based on some type of truth and clarity that you've come into with some type of confusion, lies, and illusions here. Sad. Oh, wow. You have the Seven of Swords again. Uh, lying, cheating, deceptiveness, sneakiness, or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lusts, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. 
So Sag could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Sag, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. So Sag, listen, I feel like you're telling me that you need to be strong and make a decision, a decision, a decision because of this deception here. I, and, and, and I feel like you also need to be strong and resist because like I said, Someone's coming in, jumping high, speaking on commitment here, Sag, but we're ignoring the elephant in the room. So I feel like you're saying, you know what? I'm resisting that. I'm going to be strong to make a decision here. Sag, you have the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Sag, could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own. Or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Sag, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Now Sag, you can tell me, yes, you're on a break from this person and you're needing to heal individually on your own. But I feel like you're meditating on whether or not you want to heal things on your own or whether or not you want to heal things, mend things, and work things out with this person here because they are apologizing and jumping high to get you back. So I feel like you have a lot to think about. You're needing to make a decision, needing to make a decision, and meditating on this decision. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you, Sag. Just being near you is intoxicating. Hmm. Just being near you is intoxicating. That's how they feel, Sag. But it's an elephant in the room. Sag, you need to know this right now for July the 26th through July the 27th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.